Hi friends. So in the last session, we had we had seen how to uh, write our first sample stored procedure to register the transaction. Let's use the same stored procedure here uh, with an output clause to see how uh, a stored procedure can be used uh, to uh, fetch or or, or uh, how in store a stored procedure can return a value uh, to us. So the same stored procedure. I mean, you can refer the last article of how the stored procedure was written. and i'm just taking uh, uh, this is just a continuance of the last uh, article so i'm just adding uh, one more clause to this procedure that is that is the transaction id so this will return a transaction id to uh, uh, when you are uh, when a stored procedure is returning a output you just declare the data type which is going to be returned and with an output clause so i have just declared transaction id with an output clause so once the procedure uh, once the data is inserted i set the transaction id to scope identity so this function scope identity uh, i mean you could we could have used added identity also uh but scope identity is is, is a better pra practice than considered uh, considered to be a better practice because because uh, if this stored procedure is being used simultaneously by a lot of other uh, in applications with lot of other many users scope identity maintains the the scope of the session and and uh, returns the identity of the currently re resulted uh, or committed transaction so with this change i have just uh, simply made a small change and uh, i'm running this proc and while we were calling this proc uh, we need to uh it and i make some changes and i call it a uh, credit card and let me make it to 3 and let me declare a variable just to see how we call it transaction id i declare it as identity the next thing we do is we specify while calling this procedure we specify this and we select the tran id so this is a sample way of of calling a procedure so first the parameter which is which is the output clause of the procedure here as you can see the output clause is the transaction id so while calling this procedure we are passing all the input values which will be required for registration and followed by the parameter which is going to return us a value a data type to map the value and, and specify it with the output so and then we call the procedure and select the value right so we can see this was the value returned from the procedure uh, or the output value now let's check uh, for this value in our uh, transactions table so if you can see this was uh, our values which we have passed and and and, and this is the and the product or the transaction was registered so this is just a way to show you i mean uh, if in an application if we need to uh, highlight or, or return a transaction uh, id which was uh, which the current requirement went through uh, and and this has to be done through a stored procedure we would consider using this code uh, or from the application side uh, thank you friends uh, i hope this will be helpful uh, in understanding how you can uh, specify call and also return a value with output clause from a stored procedure thank you